Hello, hey girl bosses, hey gatekeepers, hey gaslighters. My name is Wahoo. This is Wahoo's Corner. And today I'm gonna be giving you some tips on how to read more and how to read uh, more enjoyably, you know? Um, sitting behind me here, all the books I've read so far this year, um, as I'm filming this, it's like June, almost mid-June. Uh, I've read about 13 books this year and um, I feel like, yeah, I'm just giving you my credentials on why you should listen to me on this topic because I've probably, if you're clicking on this video, I've probably read more than you this year, but it's not a competition. It's not a competition, okay? It's just, we just, you know, we just be reading for fun. Like, I'm not getting a grade on this, but okay, let me just get into it. <laughs> Tip number one, read books you actually like. Like, don't, don't just pick up a book or, or like read a book that you think sounds interesting. Don't just read a book because you think it'll make you look smart if you tell people you read it. Yeah, we've all been there. We've all done that, you know? Um, I can't. I recently read Dostoevsky's The Idiot, and I gotta say, like when I first um, picked it up, I was like, I was like, I'm gonna be able to say I've read Dostoevsky, and I'm gonna be able to understand when people are like, oh, Dostoevsky's writing style, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. But I actually ended up enjoying that book quite a lot, and it's, I, I picked it up for the wrong reason, but I kept reading it for the right reason. Do you know what I mean? So just pick up books you, you think you'll like. Don't read a book because you think it'll make you look smart or because you want to sound smart in a conversation down the line. But it is a plus though. It is a plus. That's why we read sometimes. It's just to brag. It's bragging rights. Tip number two. Do not force yourself. If you are reading a book and you're not enjoying it at all, put it down. There are plenty of books. There are literally millions of books in the world. You can spend your time finding one you actually love. Like, think about, like, your next favorite book is out there somewhere. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you don't have a favorite book, your favorite book is out there somewhere. And if you spend your time reading books that you don't like, forcing yourself to finish books because, oh, I wanted to count. I want to say that I read this. No, you're just, you're just gonna, like, it's self abuse. Don't make, don't read books you don't want to read. But number three is gonna tie into that a little bit because sometimes we have to read books we don't want to read, like for classes. So the thing with that is consistency. Consistency. You need to be consistent. If you read twenty pages a day, seven days a week, those pages add up. That's a <laughs> 200, 280, 280 pages? I'm not good at math, but like that's 280 pages. That's that's basically um this book. That's a whole book in a week just because you read it consistently. And the thing that I do that helps me get through, um, especially these longer books, is consistency. I read 50 pages when I wake up, 50 pages before bed. And like building that habit also allows you to be able to read more because it's like instead of automatically trying to go to your phone or just mindlessly consume medium because like yeah it's easy and it's something um, you're probably already doing which you're doing right now you're doing it right now actually it's something easy it's easy to just keep scrolling through tiktok and instagram and twitter we gonna get into that later but yeah consistency 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 you want to build the habit of reading and tip number four is do not force yourself to read if you do not want to read okay there's a difference between challenging yourself and forcing yourself to do something and if you wake up one day and you're like oh, i don't want to read right now i kind of just like want to lay here but make sure that if you're not if you're not reading or if you're if you're breaking a habit it's for a better reason a better habit reason whatever like if you if you're gonna not read but what are you gonna do instead go on twitter scroll mindlessly like and re like and retweet for two hours 
I'm not saying social media is bad. I'm just saying everything in moderation. And that includes reading as well. So moderate yourself. I mean, you know yourself best. So just, you know, take care of that. You know, you know, you know yourself. You know how, you know. Moving on. (laughs) Okay. The phone. The phone. The laptop. The iPad. The... What is the TV? Turn it off. And it's it's the like whatever you're watching right now is gonna be there when you get back. I promise you. I promise you. That's something that's helped me because I'm a YouTube addict. Like I just wake up, watch YouTube, basically, like the whole day. Like there's always a video going in the background. And for me, I need to to be able to like read and actually like absorb the material i need to turn like the the sound off but if there's like a really interesting video that you see it's gonna be there baby i promise you it's gonna be there save it save it to watch later whatever you need to do it's gonna be there if if somebody posted something you get a notification on instagram sebastian stan posted it's gonna be there when i'm done it's gonna be there in an hour okay so like the whole oh i need to check it now you we need to get out of that habit of immediately like i don't know what is it called basically validating the phone's existence (laughs) we need to stop validating phones enough i'm not i'm not like a a tech oh technology is bad book good technology bad no i understand that we live in a world where those two things that kind of have to coexist unless you moved out to the woods and live off the land and whatever you cottage core bitches do. I don't know. But yeah. Last tip is for my people who have, um, who are either neurodivergent or they have a hard time, like keeping their mind quiet. You know what I mean? Like, especially if you have ADHD, this is for you. This is for you, baby. Get yourself a pair a noise canceling headphones and i bet if you're neurodivergent you already have these <laughs> you know what i mean because yeah yeah you need these but um yeah what i do is well what i've been doing for like the past month is i put on these little babies they don't have to be beats they just have to be noise canceling headphones i put these babies on. i have a dark academia playlist i think i'll link it below that i listen to it's classical music no words no distractions like that it's like it's like when you have ADHD, you have you have like instead of a one track mind, there's like eight tracks and the trains come and go whenever they want to. Some of them just leave while people are still boarding. I, this analogy has like I've lost this analogy, but to keep those trains nice and docile, you got to entertain them a little bit. You got to entertain like that back part of your brain. Now I know Noise canceling headphones are super expensive. Um, and they don't even necessarily have to be noise canceling if you don't, if you're like okay with a little bit of um, ambient noise in the background. But for me personally, I, I, if I hear literally anything, I'm distracted. Like if I hear a door close, I'm all, who? Who? Who's that? So these have been a lifesaver. I've been able to read more. Um, thoughtfully i guess because do you guys do you guys have those moments like when you're trying to read something and then like your brain like starts playing a song like i was i was trying to read last night and my brain just went can you kiss me more with a yeah but we ain't got nothing to lose but my eyes are still moving so i wasn't absorbing anything i was saying i was reading but the the, the headphones yeah after i put those on i was like it's like do 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 like it it occupies that back part of your brain that's like oh what's that oh what's that oh what's that like if you're if you're not neurodivergent like trying to read usually go goes like this as you said this he approached Aglaya 
She took away the handkerchief with which she had been covering her face, gave a quick glance at him and his frightened figure, made sense of his words, and suddenly burst into loud laughter. I feel like people don't talk about it enough. The office and friends, the office and friends, modern family is a goddamn nest. No trust. Here's the thing: 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 Here's the is make sure you are in a comfortable position do not be out here reading i mean like sometimes i guess um sometimes you gotta read on the bus you know it's not the most comfortable but personally i like to read in my bed or on the couch but the couch has melatonin in it i always get sleepy on the couch i don't know why but you gotta make sure you're nice and comfortable and cozy you have everything you need because you don't want to get up and break your focus because then it's gonna be hard to get back into it you know what i mean so what you want to do is get everything, get your snacks, your water, your heating pad, your blankie, your bookmark, your your little uh, sticky tabs. Get yourself a pair of these bad boys if you like to annotate. You know, if you see something nice, you can put this in there and you can find it later, easy. Yeah, tip number seven now. Nah. Tip number seven is have fun. I hate this, I hate when, <laughs> You know when okay tip number seven is have fun like do I can't tell you how many people I know try to make a sport out of reading reading is not something you can turn into a sport it's not like oh I read 200 pages like that's not the point the point isn't to read the most amount of pages the, the point is to have a thoughtful experience to to enjoy to live in a new world for however many pages your book is to, you know, to think, to ha have new thoughts, you know, to see the world in a new perspective. Yeah, just like relax. It's not that deep. Reading is supposed to be fun. And even even if it's like for class, if you go in with the mindset that, oh, I'm gonna hate this book and it's for class, it's gonna be so boring, then yeah, it's gonna be boring and you're gonna hate it because it's a self-fulfilling prophecy if you're in your head the whole time trying to read the book going, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. You, the, your takeaway is, is gonna be, I didn't wanna. So, like, come on, change your mind frame. Don't be, like, reading is not a chore, you guys. It's not a chore. It's some fun. I can't tell you how many people look at me weird when I when I don't want to go out. I want to read my book because it's getting juicy and I want to find out. They just don't get it. They're just like, what? You're at home on a Saturday reading? I was like, yeah, bitch, I need to know who kills who in this book. I need to know if he does or not. Like, it's important to me. And uh, uh, this is why I have a book too, so I can talk about books. I love talking about books. But I think that is all for the book tips, for reading more. Yeah. Oh, make a goal. Every time you read, make a goal. Challenge yourself, push yourself a little bit. Don't just read three pages and be like, oh, I'm tired. See if you can maybe read 10 pages, maybe 15, you know? Like don't stifle yourself. Don't, yeah, don't stifle yourself. Give yourself a chance to grow. And that's all for today, I'm pretty sure. I have been Wahoo of Wahoo's Corner. If you like this video, like this video. And I would like to know what you're reading or what you're planning to read next or what you're reading now. Because I love talking about books. This is why I have this channel. But yes, thank you so much for watching this. I will see you next time. And as the French say, Auf Wiedersehen! <laughs> Though we live so far apart Oh, I'm so glad we can touch But now I'm out of touch Can you fill me in, dear friend? Oh, now is that so?